What's up, y'all? So, I finally caught up to the Boruto manga. And I could actually say... Oh, no. I could actually say that. That shit changed my life. It it really changed my view on the world. Because it, it finally made me realize just how many fucking idiots are living on this fucking planet. Now, the Boruto manga is really not that bad. I think it's on par with Black Clover. But that's just me. But, you know, the anime... That shit is ass. Like, I, bro, I wish the anime wasn't fucking 200 episodes of filler. Because a lot more people would actually be into Boruto. I don't even think there's any Boruto anime fans left. Like, that's how buns that shit is, bro. The only Boruto fans you'll see are people who read the manga. If you ask me, I think the manga, it actually starts off pretty strong. For, like, the, like the first, like, 10 chapters. Because it's, like... It's basically the fuck the the movie the the Chunin exams with the Momoshiki fight. That's about it. And I think the Momoshiki fight is still the best fight in Boruto, and arguably the best in Naruto. But like the next thirty chapters are so fucking mid. To me, it person personally to me, it gets good when Amado leaves Kara, because like after that, Boruto goes from like a five out of ten to like seven and a half to like an eight. But one of my biggest gripes is that these are monthly chapters. So these chapters are long as shit. And half of, bro, half of the chapter could be condensed into a weekly chapter. There's legit no reason for them to make this shit monthly. Like, bro, there, there are times when they repeat the same information that we've read multiple times. And there's chapters where, like, just nothing fucking happens. Like, one of the most recent chapters that I, I recently read is just Shikamaru talking about the new mission he's, get, he's given Team 7. And half of this shit he said we already fucking knew. And, bro... Oh, I do not understand how people fuck with Code. Code is so buns. When he was introduced, I thought he was going to be cool as shit. But, bro, Code takes nothing but L's the entire series. He And he's not even a good character. Bro, the only character's traits that I know that Code has is that he doesn't like Kawaki. And he uh, worships the Osusuki. We don't even know why he worships them. We're just told that he does it and we're supposed to accept it. And, bro, he don't even have drip. Bro, what the fuck kind of two-faced ass Gotham City ass outfit is this? And, I, bro, I honestly, I still don't like the whole Otsutsuki shit. But, you know, I can respect it. Like, bro, to me, Boruto is not part of the Naruto story. It's its own timeline. Like, bro, I'm praying that when Boruto ends, we find out everything happened because of Madara. One of the things I hella like about Boruto, though, is Boruto himself. His character development is actually pretty fucking good. I went from just despite I hated Boruto. Well, no, nah, I he was easily my least favorite character. I think my favorite character, like the beginning at the beginning part, like new character, was probably Mitsuki. But Mitsuki's fucking ass too. They don't even use him. But now, hey, Boruto Boruto's my favorite character now. Easily. Like I, I'm actually excited to see what the rest of the manga has in store for us. Because, bro, there's a chance that Boruto could be a top new gen. And out of the new gen protagonists, I think Boruto, he's actually my favorite, besides Denji. And now the last thing I wanted to talk about is that twist. Now, I already made a video about how this twist was butt. But after catching up, it's still butt. I don't understand how this twist is getting so hyped up. It really isn't even a fucking twist. When Boruto first starts, we already seen grown Boruto and Kawaki. And Kawaki talking about how, you know, he sent Naruto somewhere. And then constantly, like, throughout the series, we hear, we see Momoshiki keep talking to Boruto, talking about, oh, he, like, how everything's finna be taken, taken away from him. And we even get Momoshiki telling us, like, when it's finna happen. Like, bro, I think it's, like, chapter, like, 77 or some shit like that. He's like, the time is near when you're, when you're, everything's taken away. Bro, come, come on, bro. Like, it really, bro, it really ain't even a fucking twist. Because if you have a fucking brain, you'd realize this shit is hella predictable. I mean, yeah, like, the twist was spoiled for me. Yeah. But, but we are, bro, I already, but we already knew this shit was gonna happen. Like, bro, for example, spoiler, war spoiler warning for JJK if you ain't caught up. Skip to whatever time I put on the screen, alright? But, the way JJK does it, the, the twist of Tsukuna switching bodies is done so much better than Boruto's. Because it's completely unexpected in JJK. Like, yeah, we know, we, we already, like, we knew Tsukuna had, had interest in Megumi. 
But like that's it. We like bro, we ain't know that he you know he can switch bodies like that. Like bro, just imagine if we got a panel of like right when JJK starts, like the first fucking page, and it's just Itadori fighting Megumi while he looks like Sukuna. It's obvious that some shit like that is finna happen if y'all give that to us, you feel me? I mean another example, the Obito twist. And now for me, yeah, this shit was spoiled for me too. So I already knew that shit was finna lead up to Toby being Obito. But they ain't going to show us the fucking like future of Kakashi fighting Obito or constantly tell us like, oh, we're going to find out what Toby's uh, identity is. You feel me? The reason why it still worked as a twist was because everything that pointed to Toby being Obito was shown hella subtly. So, like, even though I knew it was finna happen, it was cool as shit to, to try and see, like, what shit in, in Naruto, like, hinted at it, you feel me? And, like, each mention of Obito was like, oh, shit, you feel me? I mean, overall, Boruto is really not as bad as people say it is, because everybody's opinion is just from the anime. But I think it has a shit ton of potential still. And, I mean, you know, it, it's really nothing, nothing too crazy. But I... If you ask me, I I think it's worth the read if you're able to get past like that slow ass like thirty chapters, bro. If you can get past that, it's worth the read. So if you're a One Piece fan, it's worth the read. But anyways, that's all for today. Y'all stay blessed, and I'm out. Right.